Joining us is Becky Carroll, Senior Agriculturalist. Becky, earlier this season I visited with Dr. Smith about pecan fertilization mm -hmm. and this is the time of year we actually determine what is needed next year for right. fertilization yep. and how do we go about doing that? Well, we, we sample the, the trees, we take a leaf sample okay. and we submit those to our county extension educators and they'll submit them to the soil and water forage lab here at OSU and they'll do a test to see exactly what is in the leaves at that time and so that gives the grower the chance to know exactly what their trees needs are so it can see, they can see if they've been fertilizing with things they don't need or they haven't been fertilizing enough with things that they do need. And so. this test is done in July because that's where mm -hmm. kind of the, the, the baseline, baseline is. Right, the baseline was set up for July because nutrients move around in the tree at different times of the year and so all the studies were done in July. And so if you take them at different times of the year, you'll, your uh, results won't be as accurate. Okay, well let's look at how to go about taking a leaf okay. sample. I'm going to hook a, a branch for us to work with. And we want to look for the new growth, right? We look for the, the change from the, the last year's growth to the new growth. And we want to find the middle leaf. And pecans have compound leaves, so this is actually a whole leaf, and these are leaflets. Mm -hmm. So we want to find the, the middle compound leaf, so we've got a few here, so this looks like about the middle leaf to me, or perhaps this one, but we'll just say this one. And then we want to find the middle pair of leaflets on that leaf. And we just select those and we just snap them off and we collect those two, uh, two leaflets. But we want to collect about 50 pair of leaflets okay. and to make a good sample. The lab won't have enough material if we submit just you know a few. So we want to make sure we have enough of them. You don't want to collect anything off of like water sprouts or suckers on the tree. Right. You want to get it from around the tree. If you have uh, more than one tree or you have like a native grove, you can select um, those 50 pair from the entire grove. Okay. If you have improved varieties, then you would want to select those separately from a native tree. So that they treat them individually. Mm -hmm. They have different requirements. All right, and once we submit these, we'll mm -hmm. get back an analysis showing different nutrient content. Yes, it, it will tell you uh, how to adjust your fertilizer um, needs, and it'll tell you exactly um, what you need to apply, what's in excess, what's in uh, deficiency, or if it's normal. And one thing I didn't mention is some areas our, our trees might be kind of dirty or we might have sprayed something on them. So after we collect our 50 pair of, of leaflets, we kind of want to rinse them off quickly, less than a minute in the water. If you can, lay them out to let them dry before you submit them to your, your, your extension educator. All right, well, thank you so much mm -hmm. for uh, sharing this with sure. us. The cost of leaf analysis is $20 per sample. You could find more about this topic on the Pecan website or turn to OSU Fact Sheet 6232.